Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, I thought I'd put this video together, um, looking at the, again, the golden era of RC, um, but this time just focusing on the um, Tamiya monster trucks from back in the day. So, we'll cover quite a lot of things in this video, um, but we'll try, we'll start at the very beginning, um, again, don't take any of this too seriously, this is just my opinions on, on stuff. Uh, and we'll have a little bit, bit of fun with this video as we go but um, yeah it's one I've been asked to do and when I thought about it I thought yeah this could be a cool little video to put out so uh, let's get into it so I think it's only fair to start with the frog the frog you say? what are you talking about Glenn? well this came out in 1983 and this was the first um, Tamiya ORV chassis um, ORV stands for off-road vehicle um, and as I said, the Frog was the very first, soon followed by the Subaru Brat, which we'll talk about as we go. Um, but this is the chassis of choice for Tamiya um, when they decided to do the first monster truck. So I thought we'd give the Frog a nice little shout out because um, obviously without this chassis, we want to see what's about to come. So the first ever true monster truck from Tamiya was the Blackfoot, and this is an original. Um, it has legendary status in the Tamiya timeline, in my opinion. Um, part number was, this was Tamiya's 58th, 58th RC car. So obviously 58058, and that was, what date was that? It was released in October 1986. Um, so yeah, as the timeline goes, this one is rather special. So let's just think about what Tamiya did. So obviously they're in a room, this is how it works in my head. They're in a room with some gentlemen and they're all chewing the fat thinking what's next. And it's like, well, we need to build a monster truck. Okay, what kind of shell are you thinking of? Well, I like the Ford Ranger that we put on the um, SRB chassis. That's a good looking detail. And we've got a load of them. Oh, okay. So we'll start with the Ford Ranger shell. We've got a lot of the ORV chassis left from the Frog and the Brat, and it's it's selling quite well, so maybe let's do it on the off chassis. Cool. Wheels and tyres, now obviously we're going full monster truck. We don't have any. So yeah, Tamiya did make these brand new wheels and tyres. This, this was the first model these were on. And then obviously put it all together, and the Blackfoot was here. But um, yeah, just an absolute gorgeous thing. So, um, yeah, that was 1986, so let's see what followed. So two months later comes the Monster Beetle. That was December 1986 on 58060. Um, so very, very close to, together with the Blackfoot. Probably the, yeah, the Blackfoot and the Monster Beetle have got to be the most iconic RC cars, in my opinion, from Tamiya. Might throw the Clodbuster in there, but... Uh, and the lunchbox. I think I think if you if you sort of my age bracket, um, I think if you had to name your top five Tamiya monster trucks. Oh, in fact, let's bring it down to top four: Blackfoot Monster Beetle, Lunchbox, and Clodbuster. Is there anything else going to get in that four? I'm not so sure. Um, what changed? The obviously used the Sand Scorcher um, Beetle shell from the SRV chassis. Um, they changed from the black friction shots on the black shocks on the black foot to yellow CVA oil dampers. So that was a great improvement. First time for these gold wheels that we saw, and then they copied the same tread tire, but they put spikes on them. And on the originals, the the original black foot tires were rock solid, where the uh, Monster Beetle tires are a lot more giving. And in my opinion, these are the best set of tires. Um, you get a lot more grip from them. Um, but yeah, I think apart from that, they're identical. Um, but two absolutely awesome looking cars in my opinion. And then in June 1987 came the Lunchbox and this is just one of my favourite cars of all time. That was on part number 58063 um, and that was the first time um, we saw the CW01 chassis and that was 112 scale where the Monster Beetle and Blackfoot, Blackfoot were 110 scale. For me, the lunchbox <laughs> is probably 
my favourite monster truck from Tamiya. It's it's <laughs> it's probably the most fun RC car out of all the Tamiya cars. Again, just my opinion, and I've drove a lot of Tamiya cars. It's it just it's just different from everything else. Monster Beetle, Blackfoot, you can get it to go where you want. It 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 jumps. It, it does cool stuff. But the lunchbox is just it's just fun. It's just wacky. It wheelies and the front f front wheels hang down and you get that amazing stance which we all know and love. And it's and the 112 scale didn't take anything away from it in my opinion. The body shell superb. The, the new wheels and tires on it were superb. Just Probably, yeah, probably my favourite ever Tamiya Monster Truck, that. Then in September 1987, came this thing. <sighs> what can you say about the Clodbuster? Um, what was the part number? 65, so 58065. This doesn't even have a chassis code. This was a complete one-off. Um, it's claim to fame, apart from it just being absolutely huge, um, was it was the first four-wheel drive um, Tamiya monster truck um, and it also incorporated four-wheel drive steering which was uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to call it a game changer it certainly wasn't the truck in my opinion doesn't run the best but um, for, for, for its kind of star status in the Tamiya timeline it's it's up there isn't it this is an original um, Chevy badged grill and uh, I've not started this yet I don't want to be sort of controversial, but in my opinion, this is awesome to have, but not so good to run. Um, it's mega heavy. Yeah. To get a clod buster running properly as a proper monster truck, you've got to spend hundreds and hundreds of it and take most of the Tamiya parts off of it, unfortunately. Um, which is very cool to do, don't get me wrong, but uh, as a standard truck, my opinion it's not the best. Um, it ran with, this has um, two motors, it's got a 540 in each gearbox. So yeah, um, completely different to what had come before this. But um, yeah, well worth a mention. So the next one up is a little bit different. Now again, in my head, this is how this, this went down back in the Tamiya thinking room <laughs> so they sat down they're doing inventory and they start seeing what kind of stock they've got left and uh, someone pipes up says um, yeah we've got a ton of Subaru Brat, Brat body shells left um, we, we I just I, I ordered too many we've got a huge surplus um, we've also got a ton of Blackfoot wheels um, full sets left over I'm not too sure what we're gonna do with them oh, okay so um, can we throw those on a different car, maybe? Don't know, you know. They do know, because what Tammy then did was basically this. Now, this body shell doesn't fit correctly on the rear mounts. But in, let me get this date right, in April 1989 came the Mud Blaster. On fifth Mud Blaster is 58077. Um, what they did was they used probably the Monster Beetle chassis. The, um, I'm pretty sure they went back to the Blackfoot shocks. Don't know if they were oil filled, but they were definitely black, so they could have been the Blackfoot um, friction shocks. They went with the Blackfoot yellow wheels, but they went with the Monster Beetle tires. So same tread, but spikes. And then threw the Subaru Brat body shell on. Um, front mount's good, rear mount's changed slightly to fit that body. Um, and that's this is one of people's favourite monster trucks. Um, I, I do like the Mud Blaster. It's um, it's a cool looking truck. The Subaru Brat body suits it, in my opinion. But um, yeah, it's that's the three main of the Orv chassis. That's the three main ones for me. What I'm going to show you or go through next are um, what came after the Mud Blaster. So in March 1992, um, Tamiya changed the chassis and um, the Bush Devil was invented or launched. Um, Bush Devil was on 58, sorry, 58101 in March 92. Now, um, I'm getting onto trucks now that I don't know a great deal about. Um, the rear gearbox changed on it, the um, rear arms, dog bones and 
I'm guessing it was an improvement from the of gearbox. I think I'm not too sure. Again, I don't know a great deal about these. Um, but after the Bush Devil came the Super Blackfoot on 58110, and that was in December '92. Super Blackfoot. Straight after that, in July '97, I'm saying straight after, with a five-year gap, came the King Blackfoot on 58192. So. Yeah, again, those three trucks I know nothing about. Um, after that, in March 99, came a Juggernaut. Now, this was on part um, number 58232. This was basically the, the new Clod Buster. You know, it's a, it's a big old lump of truck. Um, I know nothing about it. I believe the original Juggernaut didn't really work and the Juggernaut 2 came out quite soon afterwards with some improvements. I'd like to get one, um, I'd like to drive one and see what the standard one's like compared to a standard Clodbuster. That'd be quite interesting for me personally. Um, I also think the Juggernaut is an absolutely fantastic looking truck, but if you take those rounded monster truck wheels off and you put the Clodbuster wheels and tires on, oh my God, it, it's probably then the best looking monster truck, I think. It looks absolutely superb. Again, just my opinion. So also in February 1999 came the Wild Dagger, um, part number 58231. Is this a monster truck? I, I kind of think it is. Um, this was the first WRO1 chassis from Tamiya, and it did a lot of variants after it. Um, four wheel drive, two separate gearboxes with individual motors. Um, this is a fun truck, but it's not a Monster Beetle or Blackfoot. It's This is something in its own right. It kind of goes anyway. It's really sort of geared low. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I ran this. Um, I was told it was kind of different from everything else, and it really is. It's a great, fun truck. Um, not as much fun as a Monster Beetle or Blackfoot, in my opinion. Um, but still, you know, if you... Is it a monster truck? Stick in the comments if you think it is. I kind of think it is. So at this point, I don't know what you guys class as monster trucks. Um, so it's probably, I probably should mention the um, Nissan King Cab, the um, Toyota Monster Racer, even throw in the um, Stadium Thunder. You know, the to me, they're not monster trucks. They're big wheeled, but they're not monster trucks. They're, they're the middle. You've got your buggies, then you've got your like your king cabs, and then you've got your monster trucks. But I thought it's only for, sort of fair to mention them. So that's kind of it. I've probably missed a monster truck or two. Um, I didn't on purpose. I didn't mention the um, nitro monster trucks that Tamiya did back in the day, just because if, I know nothing about them. I tend not to talk about stuff I don't really know of. If that makes sense. Um, there may be a time when I get one of those on the channel and then I can do my research and learn about it. But um, yeah, right now they don't sort of overly interest me. But uh, yeah, if I have missed, stick it in the comments. Um, probably, I think probably the Wild Willy might get a mention in the comments. Maybe. It's not a monster truck though, in my opinion. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But again, just... You know, a trip, oops, a trip down memory lane and a uh, little bit of nostalgia again on the channel. And uh, I know I keep mentioning that sort of slogan, the golden era of RC, but uh, it certainly was, guys. Um, I love reading the comments in these style of videos because you guys who take the time to comment get what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And uh, the comments are very enjoyable to read. So, yeah, probably the two most famous monster trucks from Tamiya from back in the day but as I say out of all of them and everything we've gone through today the lunchbox is my personal favorite um, and I will be getting another one on the channel the last one I had I moved on um, but I am gonna do a Tamiya Legends um, full custom lunchbox uh, it's gonna be white it's gonna have the Tamiya Legends decals on it's gonna have those cool aftermarket slick tires on Body's going to be sat lower, it's going to have some LED lights on it, uh, might have a driver unit in it, working LEDs, um, it's going to be pretty uh, pretty cool I think, but um, yeah that's just up here at the moment, I've not done anything about it, uh, it's on the to-do list, 
and that to-do list keeps growing. Anyway, guys, I'll shut up. Um, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're going to give it a thumbs down, drop it in the comments. Why? It's cool thumbing down a video. I have no problem with it, but it's good for me to know why. Obviously, if it's just because I suck and you can't stand me, then you shouldn't really be watching, should you? Because you're watching and you're giving me a thumbs down, so you're supporting me. So if you don't want to support what I do enough, you think I suck, just go away and don't watch. But, um, yeah, leave in the comments what you think, guys. So once again, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always, guys, happy seeing.